What's up guys, Matt Fryers here from tri Tac Martial Arts with my good buddy Leon. Uh, today we are gonna play with some hammers and I fucking love hammer strikes. In fact, I think this is probably gonna be one of the next evolutions uh, of striking for, for combat sports. Uh, you don't see it in boxing, obviously they can't hit it, but with their bottom of their fist or bottom of their hand, but you will see it a lot more showing up in MMA. And we're gonna look at a couple different hammers today uh, playing with those hammer concepts. One being a direct hammer, external hammer, as well as our sending hammer. So uh, we'll work through a few combinations. Then I have uh, both Leon and Chris behind the camera. Uh, run it through a few times and we'll build it and build it. So let's look at our first hammer. Okay, so the first hammer we look at is our direct hammer. Just put your, uh, your guard up for me now. And just to isolate the direct hammer itself, we're gonna throw it from a, a rear side on this one. And a direct camera is gonna be coming straight down the line with a hammer strike. If I think about right from my guard, it's almost coming off the across, but I'm not gonna use my hammer instead. And one of the common misconceptions about direct hammer is that somehow I need to be very close to my opponent. The fact that it's gonna jam you up and make you feel worse. I'm just going almost at range. My cross and my direct hammer should feel similar in range, okay? The, the hammer strike is still a medium range tool. Of course, it'd be a close range tool as well. But right now, we're gonna set it up on a medium range. So I'm going to step my jab, boom. Now, as I catch up my right foot, I drop my hammer. Now, if you notice, I'm on the ball of my right foot. I use that to push in a little bit on my hook. Whether I catch up my feet or kind of like a stepping hook, boom, and back out, or one, two, boom. I create a little bit of angle. And this is the angle that's now going to give me that follow-up shot. So our footwork is very clean. One, two, three. Gotta make it a little slick, a little faster now. I right, just up that tempo a little bit. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. One more, just like that. One more, just like that. Good. All right, Chris, three more. Now, uh, uh, next, I briefly talked about it. The next evolution of this drill would now mean to start playing, uh, adding footwork in it. So let's take, I'm going to keep that forward pressure. But Leon, is, as I'm adding forward pressure, he's going to start moving his feet backwards like a normal fighter. He's not going to stay there and let me do things. So I'm bow, bow, bow. Now I'm just keeping my feet up, Leon. Bow, bow, bow. One more time. Bow, bow, bow. Good. Okay. Now, you saw we even start circling a little bit. I can start even changing my directions on this. You know, let's just have a little test to see if this works, okay? I'm gonna slide to my right. As you slide to my, uh, oh, you slide to your, your slide to your left. As you slide to your left, I'm gonna start doing my combination. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, again. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm using my feet almost reverse. Now I'm stepping my jab, catching up with my hammer, stepping again, all right? If I go to the left, I can do the exact same thing. Leon starts going to his right. One, two, three. Let's say Leon is pressuring me. I'm gonna do exact reverse. Okay, just learning to use my feet with every single punch based upon how my opponent reacts. Okay, let's start using our external hammer and I'm gonna play within this combination we just worked on, all right? So first, let's just keep static footwork for now. So I throw my jab, direct hammer, left hook, okay? Now, my external hammer is gonna come around my head and drop, okay? When we think about the external hammer, I always think about it. I create a shield wall first, and then it's gonna come up. It's not gonna come straight across my body. I'm not gonna load it. Very common mistake is that people throw that external hammer, they'll, they'll bring it in front of their body and throw it this way. I don't wanna have it come around my head. So it's like it's almost blocking and then dropping. Blocking, dropping, blocking, dropping, okay? You'll feel that it has rotational energy like you would on a cross. It also has dropping energy at the end. So I'll throw a jab, direct hammer, left hook, rotate, drop. One, two, three, bum. Okay, why don't you come over here? And you'll notice that I'm trying to put that hammer exact same spot that I put my hook. Jab, cross, hook, external hammer. Okay, now say I wanted to move off this, my left hand was close. Okay, uh, let's talk about adding a, a takedown off of an external hammer. I'm just gonna shorten this combination up for a second. I'm just gonna throw a jab external hammer. Then let's just talk briefly about where we can set things up for a takedown, okay? So here we go again. I threw my jab, and now this is a little different, okay? I'm gonna be almost pushing off and hitting with my right hand, okay? It's almost like I'm throwing a jab left hook, okay, where I'm stepping around the edge. But instead, I turn my body the other direction and throw that left hook, okay? Now, I'm sorry, uh, uh, external hammer, right external hammer. 
Now you can see kind of body, and Leon's body is open up. I hit him up, I hit him, I almost got his off balance a little bit. It's a great opportunity to just take a step forward and level change. Bang, bang. Look at that level change, our body lock shows up very, very nicely, okay? And we're gonna use a technique we call Kosorugaki, here's an outside leg grip, or leg trip. So I'm now gonna hook, pull it to my ass, and a slight rotation. Leon yeah, drops down, now I'm like top. Okay. If you are wrestlers, okay, this is a great opportunity to shoot a double leg. Uh, I believe if you do not have a strong high school collegiate wrestling background, shooting purely for a double leg uh, in a self-defense or even in MMA is probably not too advisable because uh, it's. I think it's unless you have a bomb, a bomb shot, it's much easier, much harder to defend against. So I prefer uh, a body lock or midline attack, which then will start chaining to uh, many other types of, of takedowns. So again, I have my jab. External hammer, walk through, level change, driving up into the shoulder, establish my body clinch, my body lock. If you guys are new to the body lock, I'm not gonna have my arm that's under in front of his belly, palm down, other hand palm up, and I'm pulling his hips into me and shifting my weight, okay? So now my left hook will come behind, pull it, rotation, bam, bam. If I've done this right, I should feel like I'm landing, I'm staying standing. Okay, jab, external, level change. Jab, external hammer, walk through. That's better. You can stay stable a little bit, Chris. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try and be good, okay? Boom. There you go. So just jab, external hammer first. Walk through step, good. Not bad, not bad. Could pull his hips in a little bit more. Yep, shift your weight to your right side, okay? Pulling your lips, pulling those hips, it's the lips. <laughs> good, good hold of them, all right? Nice, nice, good lip pinch. One, two, good, drive forward. So you're trying to you're trying to come up first and try to do a trip. I want you to shift your weight to your right foot so your left foot almost feels light, like it could come right off the ground, which you need. Okay, so uh, the last series, we really worked on that right external hammer and attacking his right side of his body. Uh, now we're gonna use our left external hammer, but we're gonna add like a walk through step on it, okay? So this prime time, I'm gonna start off the jab cross. I don't have to start off this, but what, what we're trying to do right now is I go left side, right side opens up. I go right side, left side opens up, all right? So now I'll start with one, two, boom. Now I'm gonna walk through and throw my external hammer at the same time. And now I should feel for takedowns, okay, I have a similar pocket to work through, okay? Or I can now just throw a nice power cross. Bang. So again, I have my jab cross, external hammer, turn over cross, or jab, sorry, jab cross, external hammer. Now I can walk through to that body, body lock again. And what's great about this, it typically leads to the back as well, especially on that side. Captain's lead side. Okay? So, in the course, we can go back to adding a direct hammer instead of a cross. I can go jab, direct hammer, external hammer, enter in for my double or bilap or back take, or jab, direct, external hammer, boom, big cross at the end. Okay? So, uh, and if Leon gives me a little movement, so start going, let's, let's go backwards right now. Uh, I start attacking him. Bam, 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 I'm just walking my feet. Boom, okay. That time he got a little too far away from me, probably to hit the takedown. Uh, if I made it work, I made it work. If not, same thing. Bam, bam, bam. I just back to using my medium range weapons, which is my cross, okay. So one more time, I throw my jab, cross, or jab, direct hammer. Now as I'm walking through, I'm building that hammer. Here it comes up my shield wall. Bam, dropping it right down. I just turn my right hips over for my cross, or just take a step forward my left leg, enter into the body lock. Guys, we were uh, off camera, we were just talking about full work. Let's just break down full work again a little bit on this one, because this might feel a little bit weird for, in the beginning. Okay, so again, I'll say that I'm not always gonna step and move on my punches, but it's a good idea to have active feet, okay? And if I am gonna move on my punches, it means I should be going, uh, or, or, or strikes, I should really go any direction, okay? Forward, back, left, right, circling, et cetera, okay? It's not always a forward endeavor, 
Well, right now, since we're focusing on pressuring, uh, that's our, 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 our footwork model. Okay, so uh, the pure scripted. I'm gonna take a small step to my left. Okay, get a stepping jab. Boom, All right? And then when I was talking about off camera, if I wanna follow up with a punch, I'm not gonna just leave my right foot behind and throw like a long extended punch, okay? I throw my jab and I catch up, boom. I throw my cross to direct camera, but I turn my foot over, all right? Now, instead of resetting my hips, going to the left hook or just going back to neutral, I'm now just gonna take a step forward of that and drop my external hammer, okay? Now, essentially I'm southpaw over there, right? My, my hips are facing this way. My opponent was right there, I'd be southpaw. But since Leon is right there, I'm now just gonna turn my hips back over without necessarily stepping in and throw my cross. Bam. Now I'm essentially orthodox again. And this is a great time for me to set up maybe a snack single, okay? So again, I step, catch up, step again. Now there's my cross, plant or overhand right or right hook, depending on how my distance. Or now that with the with the takedown, instead of turning my hips over, I keep my hips where they are, I step to the middle for my level change and body lock. Okay? So one more time. One, two, three, boom, or one. Oh, I move on that one. All right, let's use that left side walk through external hammer to set up uh, two takedowns. We'll use our, uh, we'll get to the back. Excuse the gym noise back there. They're fucking lifting, making a bunch of fucking ruckus. Uh, so we're gonna use uh, our body lock again, entrance, to get to a back take, and we'll hit uh, Tanya Toshi and Tai Toshi from the back, okay? So here we go again. Here our jab, direct, hammer, walk through. Now I'm gonna enter it with my body lock. Boom, all right. With this, the dude to the side, the nature of it typically leads more to some of the back take. If I already beaten that shoulder, I just look around the corner and snake to the back, okay? Our first, uh, Tanya Toshi, my left foot's gonna step pretty close to the outside of his foot. And then my right heel is end up uh, right about there, toes facing that way, and I sit to my ass. And now I'm not in a great position to ground a pound or to control him, depending on what situation I'm in. Let's look at that again. So I have my jab, direct, external hammer, level change, body lock, and adding movement helps me walk it in. Now, if you guys see where my clinch is, my clinch is on his right hip, okay? Right palm down, left palm on top, and I'm looking to the direction I'm gonna throw. So this left foot step is kind of like a blind step. I'm just gonna put my foot out a little bit so I get a little closer to my opponent, slide my heel in, right on top, tap, so arm bar, or just control. Last one, did Tanya Toshi has been uh, guilty of a few blown knees. I hate to admit it, uh, 15 years of coaching, it's probably happened three or four times that someone has blown a knee receiving Tanya Toshi because the person came too far this way and when they sat, they crumpled their knee or the person receiving the takedown didn't realize how to fall properly and try to muscle their way out of it. And that's kind of been uh, a good way to definitely blow a knee. Uh, I believe I even heard John Donaher say he's banned this technique uh, back in the day from his gym because of the nature of it that it can uh, hurt some knees. So just be careful when you're doing it. If you're new to these type of takedowns, just be a little smart. Okay, well, let's hit that tie toshi now. So same thing, jab, cross, exo hammer, walk in, boom, okay? Now my hips are gonna be the same way. Now I'm just gonna jump my feet and take them down, okay? So from the outside, I'll be on his hips. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and have this feel where now he's coming over the back of my legs. He comes down, okay? So, one, two, three, boom, walk it in, switch. There you go. Go to the back. That's it, right on top. All right, let's go try Tai Toshi off that. Walk it in. Good. And go back. I want you to do Tai Toshi. We'll still do the first one, okay? We'll go Tai Toshi later for you. Okay. 